This is the oldest black church in the state of Washington. A house of faith, a place in history. First AME Church in Seattle is Washington's first black church, 138 years old. 20-year pastor Carrie Anderson says activism in the church is just as old. This is what we do as a church and the people of faith. Especially come election time. We're having on the first Sunday in November, November 3rd, uh, bring your ballot to church Sunday. On that day, he hopes the pews will be filled with people holding their completed election ballots, ready to turn them in. We've been doing this uh, from the time of our inception of being able to vote. And so this has always been a part of our history, a part of our culture, and it's a part of our spiritual DNA. Democrats ballot harvesting, where a designated person or group collects ballots and turns them into the elections office, works so well that Republicans are jumping in. We are ballot harvesting. We are helping, uh, encouraging, uh, and collecting and delivering, if, if need be, ballots of, uh, of voters. Party Chairman Jim Walsh says this Sunday is the Republicans take your ballot to church day. Some Republican friendly businesses are also putting out collection boxes. Those boxes will be at churches, at some gun shops, at places where uh, conservative people often gather. And uh, it, it's a convenience. Westgate Chapel in Edmonds is one of the churches working with the GOP that will have a ballot collection box out this Sunday. The church declined an interview with King Five. This is organized crime. Do you have video evidence? Four million minutes of surveillance video around the country. Donald Trump's false claims of a stolen election in 2020. This mule went across six counties to 27 different drop boxes. Were bolstered by now debunked documentaries and conspiracy theories. They called ballot harvesting cheating by the Democrats. Ballot harvesting was a curse word uh, among the Republican Party. Why the switch? Because we want to win. And we think that increasing voter turnout uh, will help us win. Republicans push to outlaw ballot harvesting in some states. In Washington, elections officials say it's legal as long as the registered owner who received the ballot is the one who fills it out. It's who you're comfortable giving your ballot to. If you're comfortable handing your ballot to someone and, and you trust that they're going to turn it in for you, then there's no problem with that. No matter your political stripes, you'll find more places to cast your ballot this election season. And it isn't just in Washington. Nationwide Republican leaders are encouraging early voting, and it does seem to be making a difference. In the swing state of Nevada, for example, there were reports this week that more Republicans voted early than Democrats. Republics, Republicans are acknowledging that discouraging early voting in 2020 actually hurt their party. Steve? All right, Chris, to be clear here, these are not official ballot collection boxes in these churches, correct? No, you're right. These are unofficial informal boxes. For years, there's been some fear mongering that official ballot drop boxes are easy targets for fraud, even though there have been few problems with them. Here in Washington, uh, there's security features in many of those drop boxes, surveillance cameras, things that uh, keep them safe. However, part of the Republican sell on this bring your ballot to church Sunday is to leave your ballot with a trusted person instead of using one of those drop boxes that's outside. Okay, Chris, thank you.